welcome back to another one that never gets old especially in front of new people we're here today with Corey and Gerald I'm trying to open it before we get blast in here Corey your boat is beautiful thank you it is beautiful <laughs> when I seen it I'm like Gerald you know all these professional fishermen man you're gonna make me look bad trying to chuck a rod out here yes I'm on a boat no I'm not shooting birds again today so a lot of you guys have been liking the fishing videos, especially the catch clean cooks. Uh, I got some new fish batter that I want to try at home. Hopefully it won't be a botch, as big as a botch as the rabbit cook was. Run that clip. Good. Let's give her a whirl here. Yeah, really bad. Uh, I'll probably never cook rabbit again. But here we are, we're good to go. <laughs> I'm serious, it was a bad one. Y'all y'all called me out pretty bad on that deal. So today's catch clean cook ought to be a lot better. Crappie, walleye, right? That's our- We gotta try to catch them first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we're going after. We're at Canopolis. If you know where that is, good. If not, good. wearing a hat clip with my GoPro 7 Black, the new one. She gone. All the footage from us fishing, uh, gone. But hey, good good job. Saving the day, look at girl. Maybe we'll get lucky and uh, I'll get hung up on your GoPro. Yeah. It's gone. It, the, the clip, whoop. All the footage from today on the GoPro gone. We're probably 10 crappie in catching. Here we go, yeah, it sucks that I lost the GoPro stuff happens I should had uh, I should have had the harness on my chest I knew it when I got out of the truck I was like grab the harness and I settled with the clip and she is gone with the wind <sighs> dad coming but I gotta get to fishing Gerald's catching him like a SOB That's two and two casts I'm out I'm out of GoPro and that was one that y'all gave me one that y'all sent me yeah, a subscriber sent that in the mail. I'm sorry, buddy. She was she was good while she lasted. Ah. Oh, well, I probably... Who got about, about dropped him. Here you go, son. Throw him on in there, man. That's like, what, 10, 11, 12? Uh, probably getting close to 10, I think. I think so. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go over the food. Here. Well... <sighs> Yeah, that hurts the soul. That was uh, that's one of the biggest gifts I've ever got from one of y'all. And uh, she gown. That's that's been on a lot of hunting trips. A lot of uh, made a lot of videos. Vamanos. R.I.P. GoPro Seven. Free Go GoPro Seven. You can give it a name. So, it, no, I never named it. But I will tell you one thing. Gerald made a good point. He's like, if that's the first casualty of camera equipment that you've had in the three to four years you've been doing it, that ain't bad. Just trying to look on the bright side. <laughs> we'll cast around the buoy for crappie and then we'll drift into the walleye, but there's a ton of fish oh, down yeah, there. Oh yeah, you can see them right there. Wow. There's part of the brush pile coming up Good on the edge man. right here. Right there on that edge, look, they're packed in there. Is that uh, a brush pile or is that fish? Yep. Because see, we're coming up on top now and the fish die off once we get up on top, so. Well, as you can there. tell, next spot, there's a bunch of buoys out here. A lot of people fishing these buoys. This must be a hot spot. Obviously, he sees a lot of fish on the old graph. <sighs> <laughs> oh, there we are. My first fish on camera from what we have. <laughs> the other footage is in the lake. Yeah, buddy. Not the biggest today, but she'll do. There we go. Hold it all the way out, make it look Oh, huge. there you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah long arm it. That's, that's a, a pretty nice one, dude. Yeah, that's not bad. That's the biggest one so far. Slabathon right there. Delicious. Beefcake, just like you. Local beauty <laughs> beefcake Slabathon fest. Fat, <laughs> fat boy needs a 10 piece. Fat boy loves cake. Ooh, Ooh. Biggest one of the day. That's a good one. My goodness, that's a real good one, girl. Good. That's the ones we want. Yes. Yeah, that'll feed. That's a good one. That will feed my kids those tonight, too, sir. Wow. Oh, that's a fat. Oh, look at this one. Another big one. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. That's right back there. Dude, I yeah, said they were right, right here. Guys. Yeah, you could see well, them. There we go. I'm gonna, I'm wasting no time. I'm gonna get back in here. What are we? So, yeah, it's getting windier as we speak. Putting on a bigger jig head, so, right? Yes, sir. What are we gonna be running here, Mr. You're Professional Fisherman? Uh, far <laughs> from. I just caught two poles that were stationary. <laughs> <laughs> so the poles were up yonder up there and uh, they're sticking off the back and I've I've caught them three times yeah but I caught them good Gerald <laughs> completely clobbered them uh, so, so this is this is what we're switching to little let me get in the sun here little jig head little road runner little blade jig action going good we got some hogs in the boat that's for sure probably at about 15 but the two boys they caught some hogs Boom! Right there, the On the board, we're catching them now, boys. Wish I had the GoPro. Oh, now it's a blackie there. We are stacking them up now, we're upside down. Just check them out. Mm-hmm. We're on them now. We're gonna have us a. Uh, we're gonna have us a stringer full. That is for sh certain. Um, put the heavier jig heads on. That's magical. That's a good one. There's another one. Another one. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. On them now. This is, we are on the juice. Right underneath the boat. Yeah, the brush pile. I think they're starting to get used to the boat. I saw your rod dip bounce. Yep, right there. Got him. Got yep. Him. Boom. <laughs> well, if you get into them, I'll film you guys catch them. Oh heck. We're good to go now. Like it's a little smaller yet. Oh yeah. Boy, yeah, that's a good one. My goodness, you're catching some toads, man. Yeah, that's need like 20 more of them. We'll be good. Yeah, I'm fill our belly. Oh my goodness, we got some carnage going on some in here. Floaters. Are... Some floaters. <laughs> it's gonna be some good eating. I'm excited. Oh, at least we're catching them, and I didn't lose my GoPro for nothing. <laughs> that would have really sucked if we wouldn't have caught anything. You know, you can't drift it. Well, it's too uh, rough. Something just happened. Just something good for me check it out uh i was i cast it out i let it sit because i answered my phone my mom called started reeling in and gerald goes you got a big one bobby i'm like oh he's like that's not a, that's not a crappie like, oh okay oh easy yeah don't lose that guy yep well i got a walleye nice walleye and he a there was a hornet yeah a bee stuck on his butt i wonder if he ate it and pooped it out Go ahead. Here, I'll get the net. There we go. Pretty nice walleye for here, eh? Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can get his mouth open. You can thank me later, dude. You know, the professional fisherman out here and all. Oh, yeah. Easy on the thumbs. He'll jack you up. Woo! Well, huh? To the cooler he goes. Sweet. Sweet. A win for Bob. I'll chalk it up and I'll take it. I will take it today. Because earlier we lost all of our footage. Like we know, I've, I've been... I forgot about it, but we needed that. <laughs> it's a good day. It's a good day on the boat, y'all. You're at it now. In the groove. It's going to be eating very, very good with that. Boys. Yep. We decided we're uh, gonna clean oh, yeah. them all out on the boat today. S save the mess for the lake. Feed the fish. Feed the fish. The straps. The wife wants a boat. I promised her we'd get one. So we'll be getting a boat a, uh, at some point. I want a pontoon to be honest, but this boat, Corey, is beautiful, dude. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for bringing us out, dude. No problem. It's been an awesome time. Uh, ever since the GoPro incident, we've just been picking this up here and there. Been walleye fishing. Uh, had a lot of bites. Just can't get one snagged on here. But as you see, old old champ himself over here getting down. Old black arm McGee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm catch fish. Well, Corey's linked up. <laughs> Girl's still over here cleaning. Giving him more to clean. Yeah, Carol said, I'm baiting, not cleaning. Oh, it's a drum. <laughs> it's a drum. <laughs> Big well, for, hey, drum. first drum of the day. Drum. We'll take it. <laughs> he pulled like an absolute yeah, anchor. Well, as you can tell, we're home. 
Bodie, are you driving today? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Are you gonna pilot this here Dodge? Yeah. Yeah, you gonna pilot Dad's truck? Yeah. That's what's up, Bubba. But we're home. Uh, we're home from fishing. Brought all the cleaned fish home. And uh, we're gonna be cooking here in a little bit, but I have not told my wife that I lost my GoPro. Haven't told her at all. So I'm gonna uh, whip the camera in front of her face and tell her. It is what it is. Today, today uh, when that happened, I was like, oh, it hurt, it hurt. But that video camera has produced hundreds of videos, hundreds of hunts, and you know what? That's the first time I've had a camera casualty. Let's put it that way. First time ever. So, uh, I learned my lesson next time that I'm magnet fishing, fishing in general, using a GoPro on water. You bet your bottom dollar that I am gonna have, come on buddy, ready? One, oh, there you go. Bet you that I'm gonna have my chest harness on, that whole chesty where you wear the GoPro on your chest. I didn't have that on today. I should have had it on today. If I would have had it on today, I wouldn't have lost my camera. Oh yeah? Hey, Bubba, let's go in and tell mommy. Come on. Whoa, what do you got? Those are smoke bombs, bub. Did you get in daddy's fireworks? Those are sparklers. Those are... <laughs> Bubba, leave him alone for a minute. Come on. Let's go tell her and see what she says. Where is she at? Oh, there she is. Come here real quick. What did you do? <laughs> so we're homeschooling. Everybody's in quarantine. And we've been homeschooling for, what's it been, honey? Like a month and a half? Yeah. Month and a half. So, got something to tell you that happened today. What? So my, my, my new, nice GoPro might be at the bottom of Canopolis Lake. Where's your magnet? <laughs> it's not magnet. If it was oh. ferrous material, I would have already went back with my magnet. Is this one you bought or somebody gave you? No, it's the camera that someone gave me. Well, it's even worse. Yeah, it's even worse. And I was, I, we were talking about it, and Gerald was like, well, at least you didn't buy it. And I'm like, but it was given to me. To yeah, it was given to me by one of you guys. And, and not only that, but it's made so many videos. But I learned my lesson. If I would have had my harness on, it yeah. wouldn't have happened. I added a clip, the clip on my hat, and it went bloop. Our Zoom meeting is starting, so school. we gotta go. Yep, school's starting. We're out. Well, 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 we're in the kitchen, and it's time for a little catch clean cook action. And today, we're doing it a little different. The wife, she already said that she would eat it with me, and we would compare walleye versus... No, you don't get to use <laughs> ranch. We're gonna compare walleye verse crappie so today Gerald was like dude walleye I caught the walleye I couldn't believe it my first walleye I've ever caught this is the walleye here you can tell the difference crappie little itty bitty fillets walleye real big thick fillet so we're gonna cut everything up we're gonna batter and season everything the same this is what we're using for batter today some Andy's golden fish batter found it at the store when you mix their little recipe up, this is what it ends up coming out to look like. Should be good. It smells good, looks good, should taste good. So here, we're going to cut the walleye up. We're going to cut the crappie up in about the same size chunks. And we're going to test it. Are you ready? Uh, sure. Uh, uh, Bodie, he's got pizza. But if you guys know the answer, which I'm searching for, which is better, walleye or crappie? Drop a comment down below, let me know. Let Beth and I know. We're gonna be cooking. That's gonna be good. Well, here we go. This is the walleye and it is ready to go. Check out the batter operation. I did the best I could. It's said to evenly coat with batter. Really can't get any better than that, boys. So, we're just gonna slap them in here. Hopefully they don't go crazy. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. I have a feeling this is going to be actually really, really, really good. So, game plan is cook the walleye first, like so, and we are going to cook the crappie next. So here we go. 
Ooh, look at them golden, perfectly cooked nuggets. That is our walleye, and it is done. Let's take them out. Give her a good look over here. Mmm, man, I might turn them just one more time, make sure they're cooked. Get them a little darker. Alright, they're definitely ready now. Give them a little shake. Need to get me some paper towels so I can dry them off. There we go, the walleye is done. So what we're gonna do, let the walleye cool down. I already have the crappie ready to go. So while this is cooling, we'll get to cooking the crappie. Here we go, this is our crappie, all battered and ready to go. Little nuggets, boom. So we're keeping it separate, cooking the walleye separate from the crappie. Put all, I don't know, I think we have nine pieces of crappie total. And this batter, you really have to layer it on. Like, I know, I should be using a tool for this, but it's just me and the wife eating it. I'm not going to be too sanitary here. There we go. All nine pieces are in there, cooking away. Do you want to try some? It smells pretty good though, doesn't it? Doesn't it smell good? Doesn't it smell like the fair? Well, hi, Frederick. How are you doing, buddy? It Doesn't... smells good, but I don't want to eat you it. You don't want to try it with me? Come on, girl, try it are with me. Are you sure? Come on. Come on. All right, come up here, Mom. I know Frederick wants some. Sissy, Sophie, I know, I know. Look at Sophie out there lurking. All right, so what we got going on here, I cooked them a little bit differently. This is a crappie. I, yeah. I tried to cut the crappie to match the walleye, so it would be like the same amount of meat. Came out looking a little different, but pretty much the same. Which one do you want to try first? I see a little nugget here that looks decent. All right, go ahead. I know what it is, you go ahead. Walleye or crappie? It's good. It's really good. Mm. Yeah. Okay, wow. Yeah, I told you not to even question it. It's so good. It's like Long John Silver's. I haven't <laughs> yeah. had Long John Silver's in like <laughs> 20 years. Battered fish, crappie, walleye is amazing. Wow. So, Harper. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh. hold on. Hold on, try it now. Now you gotta try this. That was delicious. Okay, try this one. Okay, I'm not a fish person and that was I know really you're good. not, I know. Go. I just want like a little nugget. There you go, try it out. As far as the meat, judge the meat. Which tastes better? Hmm. The first one. The first one tastes better? Okay. I like the texture of this one. So, which was better meat? Probably. What do you feel? The texture of the second one was better, like softer. Really? It wasn't as like fishy. Hmm. Well, but I like the which one do you like better? I really like both of them. They're really good. I know. I like so, crappie, walleye, two really, really good fish. For one thing, Gerald was like, dude, like I know crappie's good, but walleye is even better. Gerald was telling me, so Gerald was telling me that walleye was better than crappie. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's, so you think the walleye? I was saying the first one was like a, the first bite. It was like, gotcha. whoa, that's yummy. gotcha. Well, let's. I haven't tasted it yet. Walleye yeah. first. Mmm, my goodness. Woo! That is so good. Wow. Isn't that amazing. Well, uh, the batter is just like any beer batter you can get. It's pretty much what it is. <clears throat> amazing stuff. Here's the crappie. I cooked the, meat's the different. I cooked the, no, the meat is thinner. So you get a lot more batter, fried batter. Hmm. I knew that was gonna happen. So, I'm just gonna eat it all. As a lot of you know, the crappie was thinner, more batter. Long story short, I will tell you, that's the first time I've ever ate walleye and the meat, oh my goodness, walleye. Walleye is amazing, crappie's amazing. You can't go wrong with either of them. Get your, find yourself a good batter. I'm gonna go That's the ticket. Throw it out there. That is probably the best thing you've ever cooked that I've eaten. <laughs> that is really good, isn't it? Yeah. 
I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm, I'm pretty good. First walleye. Awesome catch clean cook at home. Everybody's loving it. Mommy, you're loving it. Yeah, I'm totally shocked. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. awesome. Okay. We win. So this meat is definitely thicker and like softer. This one is kind of more flaky. Thinner and flaky. Yep, crappie, thin, flaky, walleye, thick and meaty. So it feels kind of mushy when you take a bite of, what was this one? Right, uh, this is crappie. The crappie, so it's flaky. almost like kind of mushy, flaky. Like. Right. Oof, well I just got done work and Fred came back inside. And mama has had her way with the walleye. There's only two pieces of walleye left. That's point proven right there. Crappie, delicious, extra flaky, thin, walleye, a lot more meat, and a ton of flavor. But that's the end of the video. Oh yeah, hey, no hat. I always have a hat on, right? I did a video, I don't know how many videos ago it was, but long story short, I didn't have a hat on. And I had so many buddies and so many of you guys that were like, Bob, I honestly thought you wore a hat because you were bald on top. Yo, hey, no, I'm, I'm not bald on top. I have a ton of hair, an absolute ton of hair. Uh, just wanted to show y'all, I, I, I like not wearing a hat every now and then. Maybe it's the hippie in me. But thank you all for being here. Uh, wonderful fish, wonderful day on the lake, except for losing my GoPro. That was not wonderful. Uh, but you know, we followed it up with an amazing day on the lake with fishing. We caught a ton of crappie. I actually caught my first walleye. And then we came back home and we summed it up with the wife loving my cooking. With this little Kansas sunset, I would say tonight was a win. Even though I lost the GoPro. I already ordered one, I got one on the way. It turns out they're like 250 bucks. Back when I got that GoPro from one of y'all for actually free, there were a lot more than that. They were like 500, 550 bucks or something crazy. So thank goodness the price has went down, but thank you all for being here yet again. If you haven't subscribed, do so. We're pumping out like three to four videos a week, sometimes day to day. Just depends on what all's going on. Um, the lodge, the shop, yes, we got a ton going on back there. Y'all have been loving those videos. Don't miss those. A lot more lease videos, duck lease videos, lodge videos, building, everything. You guys know the rundown. Thank y'all for being here. Shout out to my notification squad. Hit the notification bell down there. But until next time. We're going to have to tone it down and give a lovely peace on this Kansas sunset. It's too good. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that